my father bought me a camera when I was 12 years old and I went out and started taking pictures and realized what a wonderful medium it is. You snap that picture and that minute you've captured the rest of your life. Uh, my father bought me an enlarger. So I'd have to make contact prints of the 127 negatives, those little ones. And that uh, really turned me on to photography. And then I learned of, uh, in, uh, two years from then, I bought a four by five speed graphic. Well, my father did for me, got me into doing really fine work with photography. Find out who I liked the most in the theory of photography, what he or she was doing. So I felt that I could go to them on a one-to-one -one basis. I'll take them out to dinner, spend a day with them, and try to pick their brain on how they got to see that image their way. Because uh, photography isn't uh, a rule. Photography is an art. So I, I try to find the way they did it so I can learn from them how to make it to my advantage to get to that result. Silver prints I did all my life, but after I got older and had to give up the darkroom, I thought my photography days were over, but then inkjet came out. So I started doing inkjet prints. You know, a man named Sandy King, and he taught us carbon transfer printing. And I just started doing flowers. I'm involved with flowers this time of my life. I tried scenics, I've tried portraits, I've tried, you just keep trying and you uh, never, I don't seem to really love anything I've done except I just love everything. There's no one thing in photography, it's the medium that keeps me going. So I always considered when I took family groups and photographs, I was doing it not for now, but for 10 years from now. So when somebody said, well, I really don't like my picture, I always said, well, just wait five years, you'll love it. If you only had one picture left to take, what would you take a photograph of? What My wife. Oh, I can't. <laughs> 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 <laughs>